In the last lecture, you learned how to work with model attributes. Now let's see how we can validate them. Here I've got a simple model called song. Let's say that every song needs to have a title, otherwise it's considered invalid. To implement this, we need to implement the validate method in our model. Backbone automatically calls this method whenever we try to set attributes on a song object. The argument to the validate method here is a JSON object containing the model attributes. We use this object to read each attribute and validate it. By convention, Backbone expects us to return a string error message upon validating each attribute. So here, if the title is not set, we return an error message saying the title is required. Now let's declare an instance of the song. I expect this object to be invalid because I didn't supply a title upon instantiating the song. Let's verify this in Chrome. We can tell if an object is valid or not by calling the isValid method. As you see, the object is invalid. To get the error from the last validation, we use the validation error property. Here is the error that we define in our validation method. Now let's give the song a title. And call the isValid method again. This time it returns true. So to implement validation, we need to implement the validate method in our models. Backbone calls the validate method whenever we set the attributes of a model. We can tell if an object is valid or not by calling the isValid method. If the object is invalid, we can read the last validation error by accessing the validation error property. In the next lecture, we'll talk about Backbone model support for inheritance. Thank you for watching.